tours are really seeking to raise awareness between uh, among healthy forests, healthy ecosystems, healthy communities, and we're really doing that through the lens of our salmon fishery. ways it's a big interpretive project in that what we're doing is we're taking you know two dozen different sites in Sitka and stringing them together through a walking tour that's narrated generally by me. Most people don't realize that salmon are actually forest creatures before they're ocean creatures and they're actually usually very surprised to know that they spend so much time in the forest and that the, a healthy forest is really a key component of having our incredibly healthy uh, fisheries here in, in, in Sitka and in Southeast Alaska and Alaska. I'm really interested in the way that ecosystems interact with culture to create food for people. So this is one of my favorite boats in, in our fleet here. This is the Sultan. This boat's about 85 years old. These are the three lines that are going to be used to fish. And what these th and what Sarah will do when she's out fishing is she'll put these two fishing poles out. She'll cruise at about one to three knots, depending and on what she'll she's fishing out for. These three main lines with about anywhere between and six and twelve away. hooks on them. This fish, the salmon, sees this and it says, oh my gosh, there's the salmon feeding here, and it's a school. She's out for five and days. She comes back with 80 to 100 king salmon in her hold, 15 pounds, of, 15 pounds per king salmon, $5 a pound for king salmon. The processor will cut her check for $8,000 for five days of fishing. That's how it's done. It's the largest, again, fishermen's owned uh, cooperative in North America, if not the world, and Craig will tell you a lot more about it when you get here. We can do about 45 boats a day, so we'll separate the king salmon from the coho salmon, and then we'll grade those by size. This would be a coho salmon. This is a silver salmon. This gives you an idea what these what these guys are trolling for. Taking the uh, this is where they would cut the heads off. We're actually producing this right now for a fresh, a fresh order. So you'll see some of them still have their heads on. So what we're trying to do is heighten the profile of this fishery, heighten the profile of this natural resource. And you know, I always say the best way to advocate for this is to not eat farm salmon. Uh, make sure to purchase wild salmon, you know, whatever you can do to support, uh, you know, our, our environment here. This is, this is probably one of the easiest way, right, is to, you know, you know, vote with your fork.